Yo guys, C-Doc here, coming at you with a little tutorial, and today's tutorial is basically going to be how to get World at War, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 3, completely free, using something called Plutonium. Now, anyone can do this, and just before I get started, it is easy to do, even the website itself, it has instructions on what you do, I'm going to just walk you all through it, just in case anyone gets stuck, the link to Plutonium will be in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. Right, firstly, before I do anything, firstly, the website, Plutonium, as you can see, I mean, it has changed since I've last been on it, but basically it's got BO2, Modern Warfare 3, and World at War when it shows up. So, obviously, you can download them all, but um, just for example, like, so I've already pre opened it. Um, how to install Plutonium mode, this thing even comes with instructions. Uh, on how to install Plutonium, how to get the game installed, um, and what to do. Um, firstly, it's BO2, you go further down, it'll show you what to do. Then, slightly further down is a Modern Warfare 3. Now, for Modern Warfare 3, you need Steam. So, anyone who doesn't have Steam, you need to get a Steam account set up, which I will show you eventually what to do with that. Um, as, I mean, as it states there, you yeah, basically have Steam and grab that and, yeah. Then, even further down, it has World at War somewhere. Um, there we are. Um, World at War, same thing. Da -da -da -da. All the installation steps are there. Whoops. Trust me to press the wrong thing. Right, so if I minimise that. Now, a little thing which it will I will mention is... This particular file is a QB torrent file. Um, that is the this is basically a file it downloads in. So you then need to get something called QB BitTorrent, which I have open. So for example, you add torrent. Uh, da -da -da -da. I mean, as you can see, I've already got them installed. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you. Go into there. I'm going to use World of War for example. You open, and it'll ask you where you want that thingy. I just put it to my download so I know where it goes. And as you can see, I mean, um, it downloads, it'll tell you how long it's downloading. And yeah, um, now before I even show you, because obviously that's doing its thing, it's probably going to be the smallest tutorial ever, guys. But when you're in Steam, um, you basically change this to Tools. And come up that. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is right here. You basically download this dedicated server for Modern Warfare 3 which is um, basically what Plutonium would be running off for Modern Warfare 3 so yeah that is all I can really add to that but um, to show you that it works this is Plutonium now when you get to setting it up it will ask you to make an account but before I do that I am going to show you when you come onto Plutonium I'm like, I will be honest, I've not looked at this since the last, like the previous version. So, somewhere in here, you're basically able to set up an account. Um, for the life of me, I'm not sure 100% where it is at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, it's got all three of them there. Installing the game, setting up a server, all the tutorials are there. Um, to anyone who is unsure, there will be somewhere what shows. Um, that you can basically set up an account which you'd need to obviously you know create an account on the website itself which would then prompt you to log into here um, yeah um, so when you go to game settings once it's installed you select where your launchings come from like mine's all there uh, then you select the folder it's same with all the files so I'm gonna just try and boot up Modern Warfare 3 and show you how it works, so I'm going to do the same for World of War, show you it works, same with World of War Zombies, show you it works, it's all there, whenever it wants to load, I'll give you a quick run through of them all, just so you've got an idea they work, and just so you know, servers on here, like custom servers, da 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 da, I'll probably just give you a quick run on them all, just so you know over there, um, for Zombies on World of War, however, I think it's hit and miss, because like, some are there, some are not, like some work and some don't, so it's trial and error, but they do show, 
This may take a while to load, guys. I'm just pre-warning to anyone who, you know, runs this. It may take a while. My voice it's worth, guys. I will be right back when it decides to load. So, as you can see, guys, it is loading. It was just uh, I had to close plutonium and reopen it. But as you can see, it all boots, it even registers your Steam account because it's associated with Steam as well. Obviously, it's going to boot all this. Da, 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 da. Um, that in the top corner is just with my graphics card, it allows me to record. Um, so that's not relevant to it at all. Uh, da, da, da. Obviously, it's keyboard and mouse, you can connect to controller. So, to anyone who is console preferable, um, you basically go to controls. Um, no, sorry. Um, contr yeah, controls, controller. Obviously, you change your game page. You can change it to what you want once it's set up. And da 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 da. Uh, um, but yeah. Um, and obviously, just press skip to go back and back again. Now, uh, obviously, you can get server, you know, private match and stuff set up, like so. Um, it provides all the DLCs for you anyway. Um, you can get something called the test map, so you can actually make your own maps on here as well. To anyone who's unaware, uh, obviously there are all your default maps, so you go back and back again. Uh, obviously you can set up the rules and change password and you know information and blah blah blah. Leave lobby, server browser. This is where all your lobbies are, and there's actually quite a lot to lately. Like, as a throughout, um, depending on the time of day and depending on obviously what day in the week would determine what servers are actually running because obviously some are Europe based, some are, you know, they're all over the world so it really depends um, on what you go on. So just aim for a lobby, what's well, got people in it, connect. You're probably going to see me do absolutely shit guys. Because I'm not used to keyboard and mouse at all, or I am for some games, but not on good. <laughs> but I have got to adjust what the controls are. The connection pet. Right. Alright. Right. Alright, right, let's pick a different one. Let's go into TDM into there, because there's only two people. Maybe there's in a, because of the amount of people. It may be booted. Um, obviously, it's a default map, which is Sea Town. So it should load without any problems. If it don't, I'm gonna be annoyed. <laughs> Could be here for a while. Oh. Activate in. Connection. Yeah, well, okay, I'm just gonna throw this out. It could be my connection what's stopping this, but obviously when it boots, um, as you can see, you've got loads of layers. Just try one more, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna jump to World of War and show you it works. And to anyone who just does a throw out, to anyone who saw my stream the previous day on World of War, this is how I was doing it. Seems to be taking its sweet time. Alright, for what it's worth, I'm gonna just oh well, that was. Ah. Right, I'm gonna just right quit that. I'm gonna show you that all the wall works, so it basically you have to reopen because it it boots it, but then when you close it'll close plutonium as well. So it is a bit of a reboot process, just if you guys are not aware, just in case someone doesn't think so, oh, broke it. Nah, it's all good. Um, whenever it wants to load, I mean, sometimes it boots, sometimes it do not It's a bit of a. Uh, it seems to be for me anyway a bit of a um, close, reopen. Da, 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 da. Right, as you can see now, that time it opened. Right, let's go for World of War multiplayer. Watch it not load. Oh, it's loaded. Uh, that's why it should be doing the little box thing, and then it'll go for all the files. That'll close, that's normal. Well, I'll say it's normal. Oh. What are you doing, bruh? Right, let's just do a quick. I was not expecting this guy, I was expecting this to be flawless. 
Nej. Skal vi gribe ud? This tutorial is becoming longer because these are... Come on. No, oh, yeah, for more than one. I was not expecting that. Close. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe it don't want to work. Oh, cool. Now, as you can see, it reads all the files from where they are, and it will boot it as a launcher, um, which is obviously run through Plutonium itself, otherwise it wouldn't load at all. So it's like, well, technically it could run on its own, guys, to anyone who just wanted to be offline and play like, completely solo. But if you wanted all your server stuff, um, you'd have to read through Plutonium, because Plutonium itself is a server. Uh, just look for people. Like, there's one, it's got 5 out of 20, let's connect to that. Now this is actually working, which is quite a shock. Now this is a DLC map, I mean, this same applies um, with all three of them, like you get all the DLC maps and it comes with every single one of them. So obviously, all the sign, just, I don't really care what I click. And if I just do the tab, you can actually see that there's people. I'm gonna get butchered. I'm stuck. <laughs> Move. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that went really bad. Uh, how do I? That one? No, that one. I don't even know how you skip the kill cams on um, keyboard. I'm not used to it from being on this. But, like, the little chat thing what pops up, obviously, it advertises like this plutonium. You get your own little, it has a custom chat with like updates and etc. etc. Like, servers do get updated, like, because people make them individually and then put them out for the public. So, to anyone who is interested, you can make your own and do, you know, this, that, or the other, and make your own, make it like a custom map, a custom game mode, whatever you want. No, oh, that's like you skip them. Um, but yeah, you can, it's the same with like, well, like Call of Duty Zombies, like to anyone on PC who like to submit their own, you can do the same with Plutonium on any three of them. Um, whether it be Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, or World of War, you can make your own multiplayer maps, like, whether it be for your friends, um, for the like, actual like general public, public. Um, but overall you know you could make your own maps and connection interruption uh, that's mean um, right I'm gonna just boot off that leave game quit and quit it's gonna take me back to my desktop reboot and I'm gonna finally show you um, the world of all zombies and just obviously show you. Now, just please note, my Black Ops 2 doesn't work, but that might not be the same for any of you. If anyone does find get it working, please let me know. Um, but whenever this loads, same thing with zombies. Boo! Now, obviously, you've got the solo, you can do your campaigns as well with this version. As you can see, it's got all the DLCs. Go back again. Oops. Um, you can make you run your own custom maps on this stuff. Like As you can see, I've got loads. Um, but yeah, you can run your own custom maps. Um, so, and on cooperative, cooperative, you can make your own private match. Like, um, let's just go back, and I'm going to show you a run of the mill example. So... Say for example you want to run a custom map, um, I don't know, let's just... Um, Alright, I'll pick that. Watch it not work. Okay, it worked, cool. Right, so if you want to do the custom maps, you basically change that and it'll come up like so. And it'll obviously, some of them have their own little logo thing, some um, don't. But if I go back, go back into mods, launch out mods, so I'm running back on the base game. Otherwise, servers don't seem to work, I don't know why. Um, cooperative, join server. Now, what's the odds for some load? I'll be surprised if any do. Well, there seems to be not. Oh! Uh, duh, 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 duh. So, like, as you can see, some people have like custom maps which are running. Um, oh, that says like zero out of four. You can like potentially like pick your own custom map and just hope the like because I think you'd have to have the map. Like, say for example, if I can link to that, I'm not entirely sure if it would load. Like, it's doing its thing. So, like, if it was if it would load, 
So, just a thought to anyone where you see a custom map, I'm not 100% if it would work with these servers, because as I was describing earlier, they, they might not. Um, you seem to be like doing like whatever you're doing. Um, let's close. So, I'm going to go for a default map right at the bottom on that. And as you can see, it connects. Anyone can connect at any time. Well, this could be custom, it could be the default on the original. And you don't want to look. <laughs> Brilliant. No, oh, that went well. <laughs> so I just got bang and bang. <clears throat> but overall, that is basically all you need to do with it when it comes to website. Um, obviously you can follow them on Discord, YouTube, Twitter, they do have their own stuff like, I don't know, it's just try on Twitter, I'll show you. They have their own Twitter and stuff, you can follow if you need any help or support regarding Plutonium or any setup issues you might be having. Uh, da -da -da -da. Obviously how to use the controllers and repair your game files, how to play with friends. Um, please note, you'd have to make an account and log in um, Plutonium to obviously add friends and then you can add them that way. But uh, overall, that is basically it, guys. Uh, oh, and even right there, you can even set up a server. Uh, set up a server, set up a block of server. So, um, you can do either of those. Um, as you can see, you can make your own server, which I've not done myself, so it's something I'd probably look into. But as you can see, you can make your own server and you know make your own custom stuff. Uh, which is quite interesting to any of the map makers and developers if you wanted to turn it into a job. Like, I have friends like just have um, financial potentiality to make money off it. But overall, guys, up you like. Please ignore my phone. Just be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And until the next time, guys, peace.